Hi everyone, in this video I will review Chapter 2, which deals with the Internet. The Internet is defined as the vast network of telephone and cable lines, wireless connections, and satellite systems designed to link and carry digital information worldwide. But it is so much more. The Internet plays a major role in our daily lives and is one of the most influential parts of society. It affects each and every one of us. And today, every type of media can now be found on the Internet. The creation of the Internet began with the development of a binary code that represents text and data in a two-symbol structure. Binary code assigns a pattern to each character. The first use of a computer system was in the 1960s. During the Vietnam War, the military needed a way to communicate. Out of that need came the ARPANET, which allowed for communications between the military and university researchers. The ARPANET is a military communications network designed by the U.S. Defense Department's Advanced Research Projects Agency. Computers were connected through long copper wires. This allowed for people from many different locations to log in and share research material. The need to send messages quickly led to the development of email in 1971, which allowed communication with other people from different locations. The network expanded with the emergence of microprocessors, which are miniature circuits that process and store electronic signals. Microprocessors allowed computer engineers to take the workings of a computer, which used to fill an entire room, and create smaller desktop versions called PCs. In the late 1980s, the World Wide Web was introduced thanks to HTML, Hypertext Markup Language, which is a data linking component of the web and that all computers can read. During the 1990s, web browsers were developed. Mosaic became the first web browser in 1993, followed by Netscape. Browsers help users search the web, making it possible to reach larger audiences. Soon after, Microsoft released the browser Internet Explorer, which became a very popular emergence to the Internet. In 1985, AOL was the first Internet service provider, ISP, and held a monopoly on connecting users through telephone wires from the 1990s to the 2000s. AOL's purchase of Time Warner marked the Internet's economic significance. The transition to broadband cable offered a higher speed service than the dial-up process, after broadband, in around 2007, many leading companies joined the ISP list, like AT&T, Time Warner Cable, Cox, and Verizon. Digital communication, which uses binary code, which was explained earlier, can handle the most intricate types of media content. It not only includes email, but also instant messaging, which increases communication between people across the world, making it cheaper than text messages. Digital communication has also led to social media, becoming a new popular digital platform that allows for users to create content and become even more interactive with one another. Social media includes blogs, wiki websites, content communities, social networks, and virtual social game worlds. All of these types have increased our social behavior with strangers from all across the world that we at once would have never had the chance to interact with. Consequently, social media has made a many-to-many -many distribution system model. This means that senders or contributors are also receivers of information instead of just one sender sending out information for many individuals to read. However, this open distribution system has led to increased restrictions. For example, app distributors have become gatekeepers. The apps that users have come to love and enjoy on our digital devices are actually approved by the company that owns the App Store, which is essentially the case with the Apple App Store. Facebook also tries to restrict certain open internet access on its site or app 
so to keep up with privacy for users. The increased distribution that has come with the Internet has also led to the online market to expand. Apple's iTunes was created to distribute music, seriously changing the music sales game. This easier form of purchasing songs made going to a music store not as popular as before because we can do it from the comfort of our own mobile devices. Similarly, e-commerce exploded in 1995 when Amazon became a large distributor of items. Amazon, after all, started e-commerce, which can be defined as products and services that are bought and sold on the Internet. Another important component of Internet economics is the use of ads. Every time a user clicks on an ad while using a search engine, the search engine gets money for it. This has led to targeted advertising, which are specialized to users by tracking purchasing habits, searches, locations, and cookies. This new digital age has welcomed smartphones to help increase users' close relationship with the Internet. Smartphones include mobile phone uses and other capabilities such as email, and in more recent years, Internet, all in one device. In the early 2000s, the BlackBerry propelled the popularity of smartphones, especially among business executives. Finally, in 2007, smartphones grew even bigger as the iPhone was introduced. Apple played a big role in convergence, the merging of media content across different platforms. The iPhone not only had call capabilities, but also included internet access and played music, email, and included apps once the App Store was launched in 2008, which added to the availability of media content, including games and sports and maps and shopping. Apple set the competition. Products like the iPad became a widely popular product and brought even more competition to the digital age, along with the Apple Watch which brought competition among other companies such as Microsoft, Amazon, and Google. The Internet has greatly changed traditional media. For instance, newspapers and magazines that were once solely in print can now be found online. Even the news found on TV has an online website and looks similar to the website of the newspaper. The separation of media platforms is diminishing with the prominence of the Internet. Social media has also led to the digital divide of information haves and information have-nots, a divide between those that can afford to have computers and internet and those who cannot. The information have-nots typically refer to individuals in developing countries who cannot afford computers, don't have adequate telecommunications infrastructure, or internet services are limited or even restricted completely to these countries. However, mobile phones are becoming the link between the divide in these developing countries. Although Internet has aided in spreading political messages and has been considered democratic, it has become increasingly commercialized and led media companies to gain more control over it. Other issues with the Internet include the passage of the Telecommunications Act of 1996, which promoted deregulation and allowed for massive conglomerations and worker downsizing. The portal made way for the search engine to try to get more control of the internet and now Microsoft, Google, Apple, Amazon, and Facebook are digital media's top companies. The internet has become a more dangerous place with increased hacking of social media and computers. And phishing, which includes phony emails that get users to give away important information. And the Patriot Act, which lets law enforcement invade online communications. Data mining is said to be used for targeted advertising, but really is a form of user surveillance. Cookies track browsing habits of users and are used for targeted advertising, along with spyware, which is an invasion of privacy as it secretly gathers user information. And finally, net neutrality is the belief that every user has the right to the same Internet network speed and access. Some net neutrality rules 
were approved by the FCC in 2010 only to have those rules repealed by an FCC vote in December of 2017. Well, that's a review of Chapter 2. Be sure to read the textbook, Chapter 2, do the blog assignment on the discussion board, review the key terms at the end of Chapter 2, and review the study guide. Chapter 3 and Gaming is next. <music>